Hey, hey, pilots, welcome to another exciting episode of Battle Zone. I'm your host, Scott Beacons, and this is where I take my original account on the battlefield and have some fun. Hey, if you're stopping by on my YouTube channel, please do me a favor and subscribe and tap that bell, and you'll be notified when new episodes are released. Let's take a look at my hangar. We got the uh, Air, RDB Ares. We got the Mag Blitz, we got the Pinata Loki, we got a Vortex Vector, and we got a little Phantom with the Storm on the top and Halos on the side. They're not as good as they used to be, but we'll still use them. We might do some changing here in the future. Let's see here. We're going to drop, I think, into, there we go. Yeah, we're into va uh, Factory, the new one. It's an awesome map, I'll tell you what. But um, I have, I'm still learning it. Uh, I usually open up with my Vortex Spectre because I can go to a sweet spot and launch, uh, uh, launch them over the top and it works out pretty good. But I've never spawned from this side over here, still learning it, and uh, I didn't even know which way to go. Right or left, left or right, making making all sorts of uh, indecisions there, and it cost me. Um, I'm, I'm kind of like not in a very good spot for him, and uh, I'm going to get wasted by this Ravana, and I'm already uh, right at the get-go, 0 for 1. Well, you know, let's see if we can do something else here. Now, I've got the Blitz. This is a mag Blitz, guys, I'll tell you what. This uh, little this little build is no joke, and it's really a good one to, to maybe consider if you don't have one yet, or if you have a Blitz and you're not quite sure what to put on it you know gusts are okay but the little pew pews uh, look at that we're at we're, we almost caught back up we're at uh, 0 for 1 but we have an assist um, let's keep going though um, they never run out they're inexpensive to um, ramp up you know you can uh, obviously upgrade them for very very inexpensive especially if you've been in the game for a while and you got some of these sitting in your garage which I did so I just said you know let's just start ramping them up and I'll tell you what there, there we go one for one good job buddy good job whiz bang that's I call him whiz bang but cause that's kind of the sound he makes when he goes around and starts shooting at people but um, I'll tell you what it, they're they're inexpensive to ramp up and um, I'm gonna get these uh, I'm gonna get these all the way up to mark two uh, mark 212 because it's so inexpensive to do um, and easy and so it doesn't take too long and uh, he's gonna be pretty formidable you can get that um, legendary uh, pilot on him too and uh, get his get his durability way up when you go in for those charges and uh, he's pretty good so yeah, here we go two for one <laughs> starting to make up for that little slow start that we had at the beginning with the, the vortex I call him skullcracker <laughs> um, now here you go you gotta just jump around the backside you know make sure you're you're playing smart here and we're doing good there's triple kill or at uh, three for one good job now um, you gotta mind your P's and Q's always watch the beacons right now the um, the reds have been uh, slaying us on beacons at the beginning here and uh, you know we're chunking them down there we go we we're at uh, four ish <laughs> I didn't get that counted for one but unfortunately but uh, I did most of the damage there uh, so he's doing pretty good so see how this bill can just keep moving and moving and moving and if you time your little um, suppression beams right when you're facing a Ravana you can kind of um, nullify some of their damage too I didn't do a very good job on that one but I got I'm gonna go up here and go get a little two-for-one uh, situation two-on-one situation so there we go get the uh, get the get the uh, five for one and keep going buddy but um, I need to take a, a a shift in uh, in uh, in strategy right now. Six for one. Not quite a god godlike, but I should have had that. But anyway, um, it's time to go ahead and give this guy a little blaze of glory. He fought the good fight. <laughs> Keep going, buddy. Good job, Whizbang. All right, but I gotta put in my closer. All right, here here we go. Sound the theme music. <laughs> That's right. I got a tall order in front of me. I got to really do some comeback. But you know what? I'm going to make a believer out of you because uh, Loki here, he is no joke. He really is a, a, a guy at the end that you want to put in. He's a closer. He can rescue a game. Right now, uh, what we need more than anything else is a, is a beacon dominance. Now, I've got a bunch of uh, powerhouses on my team. They are definitely kicking some butt, and they've been keeping a, a fairly good tab on beacons. But right now, when everyone's flying around in their Mings and their, and their, and their Titans, this is the time when Loki can thrive. Look at that Ming up there, the great and powerful Ming. But you know what? His strength is always is also his weakness. And I'm going to show you out what I mean. Not only am I going to grab this one, but what's he going to do, right? He, he can't hold that beacon up there. Now, he's he, he doesn't want to drop, you know. Yeah, he's going to drop right now. So all I got to do is just walk away, you know. <laughs> he, he won't drop for long. See there? Look at her. There he is. His appetite for destruction. That is his weakness. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab this one here. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, Means will kill your hopes, but Loki's will steal your victories. You know, there's an AJ or two running around. There's always going to be. And uh, as long as you have some uh, phase shift and dance around a little bit, look at this. That's right, guys. You guys had it. I took it. You better recognize Loki just stole the show from you guys. You know, I, I have a lot of heavy hitters on my team, but uh, because I was able to take this pivotal beacon in the background here, that cost them the game. <laughs> now, are you guys a believer? I sure hope you are. I don't know if you are, you know, but I tell you what, I have a lot of fun with Loki. There's a reason I like to have him on my um, 
in my hangar. I wish I had one in every hangar because at the end of a battle, sometimes it's all you need in order to swing the battle, swing the tide, and come back from a, a big deficit there. Great pilots on both sides for sure. And, um, but it was nice that I had that Loki um, ready to go. Hey guys, if you stopped by here uh, and uh, and saw it on my YouTube channel, thanks so much for watching. Um, I, I thank you for, for stopping by. And uh, definitely, if you um, are uh, in the mindset to just subscribe to my channel, I'd appreciate it. I really appreciate your support. Just make sure you're having fun out there, guys, because if you're not, you're doing it wrong. Play well. Peace out.